audiences of how many people, for example? You'd say a thousand people. A thousand? Yeah, more than a thousand But this is where people the question sometimes. comes in. You're yes. playing mm -hmm. in some town in France to a thousand people. Yes. But you don't play to a thousand people in mm -hmm. wherever you come from. Yes. Which means that mm -hmm. uh, people mm -hmm. don't like your music. They no. don't care about your no, music. No, no, no. Not quite. Um, the difference here is because we don't have uh, a summer festival. To right, to you've say. said that. Yes. You've said that. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the festivals. We so don't have festivals. So in other words, mm -hmm. are you telling young musicians that yes. they've got to find their audience mm -hmm. abroad? No. They've got to be part of no, this no, no, no. world music phenomenon. Uh, you're either Yusundur, you're yes. either Selif Keita, or you're yes. nothing. Well, Is that the message? That's one, that's one thing. We have to take the music out there. That's one thing. To, to export our culture and showcase our culture to the world. So that right, this but I'm challenging you by saying mm -hmm. you have to have pride in your culture yes. to, ha to first think about exporting yes. it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that perhaps that's mm -hmm. lacking here in Kenya, amongst yeah. Kenyans. Um, it's not lacking. We, I, have an we, I have an audience here. My music is well received here. The people have my CDs. And the, when, when I have concerts, the people turn out in numbers, really. You see, uh, it's just that, like, 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 I, like I put it to you, we don't have much more festivals to showcase uh, some of live music that we have in this country. We have overwhelming live music, and live performances. So how do Kenyans live their love of music? They buy don't go to festivals, we don't mm -hmm. have any, so mm -hmm. well, what's the conclusion? Well, the, the, well they, they buy your CDs, they listen to your music on radio, they lay, watch you on TV, you know, and when you have concerts, yes, they come to concerts. So once in a while they come to concerts. So you are, you are happy as yes. a musician with mm -hmm. the status quo. You wouldn't go so far as to criticize mm -hmm. the response to your work mm -hmm. by your own people? Um, not quite. We as musicians have to push much more for, for, for spaces to perform. Uh, like, I mean, the government that has come in now has given us space to, build, uh, to, to come up with proposals, to build theaters, you know, to have forums for musicians. So it's up to us now to push for festivals, to make more festivals, so that live music is performed. We cannot just wait for uh, corporates to uh, create forums for us to, to, to make live performances or cultural institutes to make live performances for us. As musicians, we have to come out now and uh, create the platforms for us. Because so how, the, how the audience is there. Right, the audience is there. So yes. how do we create mm -hmm. musicians? How do we create more we knows? Mm -hmm. um, first of actually is to uh, um, go out there, look for talent, you know, scout for talent, and uh, bring them to the studios that we have, you know, record them, and then uh, um, find platforms for them you know, to showcase their music. There are other musicians out there who are very, very, very good. But again, I'm trying to suggest that in the Western culture, there's mm -hmm. the idea of people learning their craft. Yes. So you're just, uh, raw talent alone is going to make it, you're not going to school, you're mm -hmm. not going to learn any demonstrable skills. Mm -hmm. w where are we in that continuum? First of all, we have to know where uh, our musical cu culture started, you know, we have to know that our musical culture has been there. We don't, we don't need to go and, uh, and borrow from out there, you know, the, the Western culture and, thing, and things like that. And I'm asking First very specifically, yes. how can it be passed on? And mm -hmm. what role are you playing mm -hmm. to make sure that that happens? As what I've done as we know now, I have been part uh, of a, an African music curriculum that was, uh, uh, we had, um, we had a small campus. We had a campus, a musical campus in South Africa to build an African music curriculum, which I participated in. And I took the, uh, the musical, the, the Benga genre of music from Kenya to contribute to be part of this syllabus. Some other countries like South Africa, Zambia, uh, Mozambique, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, Madagascar, Senegal, all came to this forum to contribute to make this syllabus. So this syllabus can be distributed to schools from primary school, secondary schools, and, and universities, you see. So that curriculum can teach musicians how to play Kenyan, how to play Kenyan guitar, how to play Benga guitar, while fusing the Western, uh, the Western uh, music into it so that we can accommodate uh, the 
uh, the whole uh, uh, big picture of, of music. So you aren't, in, in a word, you aren't against, for example, mm -hmm. you, you would play a, a reggae track yourself. Yes. But sing in Luo, sing in Kiswahili, yes. sing in Kikuyu. Yes. That's acceptable to yes. you. Th th that's, uh, I think w w when, when we borrow from, uh, from out there, let us also remember that we can put our own or or original music, the base of our original music, into something that is foreign. There's something in that argument that I find somewhat strange, mm -hmm. in the sense that if you've got 47 ethnic groupings to choose from, yes. which is the predominant? Are we going to say that mm -hmm. there's something which is fused into yeah. our boundaries simply mm -hmm. because we happen to be Kenyan? Mm -hmm. The Chakacha beat is mm -hmm. going to be uh, the same as mm -hmm. uh, Kikuyu's dancing to Muigi, mm -hmm. surely not. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have, we have uh, among us this, this many, many tribes, Right. we have so much music in here, you know, from Trukana to Chakacha, to uh, Pokot, you know, there's so much music. But it's what uh, happened well is... I, I, I know there's so much. Let's yes. take you forward. You mm -hmm. know we have this phenomenon here. We have mm -hmm. Kikuyu night, we have Luya night, yes. we have Luo night. Yes. The people who go to the night, so yes. the people who belong <laughs> to those communities. Yes. Therefore, music is going to be as a, an instrument of division. It's uh -huh. not uniting anybody. No, it is uniting, really. By? By one beat. There's a beat that many communities have now... Uh, uh, um, uh, we have made a beat called Benga music. The Benga beat. Every other community plays this beat, right? You know, and so that DK, is why DK uh, Kamaru is Kamaru, playing Benga. Kamaru is playing Benga. Right. DK is playing Benga. Um, so you are, in essence, decreeing mm -hmm. that every single musician mm -hmm. should play with the Benga beat. Juma Tutu from the coast yes. should uh, play his uh, for, forget his Swahili jazz mm -hmm. and play Benga jazz. Surely that, that is, that's an impossible demand <laughs> of a fellow musician. <laughs> no, first off, you have, to, you have to also know that the Chakacha, the Swahili language, is also one uniting factor for, uh, for our music. When, when, when I take you back to the okay. idea of a national beat mm -hmm. and national rhythm. This is yes. a, a pipe dream. Never yes. will happen. Yes. No, it, it can happen. Explain. It can happen. When we unite to one beat, it can happen. We, we you bring mm -hmm. all the tribes to play to this music, one beat called Benga beat. You see, now Benga beat can still borrow from Chakacha. That, that doesn't mean that Benga does not have uh, the Swahili uh, brass section that is commonly known with the Chakacha, Chakacha beat and the Chakacha drum. There's still the Benga rhythm in Chakacha, in Chakacha music. There's still the Benga rhythm in a, uh, in a, uh, in Arab music, if you listen to it properly, the bass line, the kick, the drum kick, you know, and if you listen to Juma Tutu very well, you will you'll hear the coastal sound plus the banger beat in there. That's a uniting factor. You so, so you're suggesting that y uh, the, the dream mm -hmm. is that in the same way that we listen to South African music yes. and we hear that's Kwaito mm -hmm. and we know instantly mm -hmm. that we should work towards Mm -hmm. Right. So, what about our just very, very, if you've thought about this through? Yes. What will then distinguish us from our Tanzanian neighbours if we want to have a national identity? Why should? Isn't it going to be the same? Uh, if we come are the again? Tanzanians going to have exactly the same beat? Mm, not quite. What's their beat then? Well, yes, uh, you can say Benga has an East African appeal. Really, right. if you go down to right. Congo, right. if you go down to Tanzania. Right. Yes, there's there's still uh, right. uh, that uniting factor of East African sound. It's even bigger now, you right. know, right. like that can unite people. But so Tanzanians also have this uh, way of singing their own, uh, their yeah. own. Uh, you know, if you listen to, Hakuna kitu kibaya sana umu duniani kama shida aina siku na ila. You know, yes, that's it's, it's a distinctive way. Of distinctive way within, of within the beat which you within define. the beat. Right. You so see. They'll, they'll, yeah. So there's yeah. there's there's a scope for expression. There's a scope for expression. Right. right. I, I one thing that you haven't explained to mm -hmm. me, and mm -hmm. which is might be the final thing, right. because we have to uh, go out perhaps with a, a track yes. to give some idea of the flavor of of, of your work in mm -hmm. progress. Mm -hmm. Is why we know. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose mm -hmm. we know as your brand? Mm -hmm. We know is a bad in Lu. Uh, Wenyo means uh, a bird right. in Luo language. And uh, I'm a singing bird. My, my mother used to call me a singing bird. 
Right. You know, and I, I used to love the freedom of a bird. Right. You know, when you are a bird, you can fly up there and see things from, uh, from above, and everything looks uh, peaceful, and calm. Right. And music does that to the soul. You know, it does not. It does not. It doesn't matter what genre of music you play. If you play it soulfully and spiritually to the uh, to the to your audience, they will be with you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we know, uh, Songbird, mm -hmm. uh, all the best for the future, all Thank the you. best for your concert tour of Sweden and Denmark. And let's give a listen and a viewing mm -hmm. to the video of Odongo from mm -hmm. Venga Blues. Thank you so much for coming on the GSA. Thank you. Odongo Odongo Pile pile, si kaleki. Pile pile, yawa imakuya. Pile pile, si kamani. Pile pile, yawa imakuya. Come on. 